What's going on guys? Second video in two days. You guys are probably shocked. Like what the hell is going on? So before I get to today's video's topic, I do got a few things I want to talk about. Uh, nothing pertaining to the Duramax that will come later. I promise you that. All right, so first up on our list of things to talk about today is uh, truck wars again in Royal City, just like where we were about April, mid-April. Uh, that was race wars. That was every kind of thing you could ever race. So this one actually pertains to just trucks and trucks only. Uh, there's a ton of us going. There's people coming from Oregon, Idaho, and I think a little further out. But I do know there's going to be an awesome turnout. I'm going to get some awesome footage. I may or may not be taking that. We'll see. Uh, it all depends on what happens here in the next couple weeks. So Truck Wars, the date on that is August 12th. Mark that on your calendars, guys. Definitely going to be bringing you guys some sweet footage, hopefully. Uh, I know I'll be there along with Scheme Team Inc. Uh, a bunch of us are going from there, too. Uh, Northwest Diesel Crew is going. That's another big player at Truck Wars. Uh, I actually didn't know there were so many truck-related groups in Washington State. Uh, the list just went on and on and on. I couldn't even keep up. So second on our list, guys, is coming up this upcoming weekend. It's an event called Watershed. Uh, probably going to go like, oh my god, country music. But it is one of the biggest country music festivals in Washington, probably on the West Coast. Uh, it's just insane. It's a wild, wild time. I'm going to get tons of footage. There's a whole bunch of us going. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of cool things during the day at night. We're going to go boating, cliff jumping, truck shenanigans. Uh, just going to have a full out good time, guys. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've been waiting all year. It's one of those events that you just get goosebumps thinking about. This will be my third year straight, and you know, I'm just gonna keep on going and going and going until uh, I'm too old to do this shit. So, all right, guys, so what do you say we get to the topic of the video? All right, so the topic of the video is the Duramax, okay? So, you know, I was really thinking about selling it, but after our photo shoot yesterday and going through editing pictures, I don't think I can. I mean, the thing is just phenomenal. I just had a ton of issues with it. Not really issues, not a ton. Uh, I had to replace the water pump in it. So I put a welded uh, Merchant Automotive one in it. Hopefully with that, I'll never have an issue again. But while I was, uh, I did the work myself, let's put it that way. I got my hands a little dirty. But while I was doing it, uh, I actually ran into a couple little issues. There's a coolant crossover tube that runs from the back of the water pump into the back of the engine block and it's held in by an o-ring that's it so when i pulled the water pump out actually it dropped that uh the crossover oil the crossover pipe whatever the fuck you want to call it uh it dropped it down low and it actually shredded the o-ring in there so i put it i didn't know it i put everything back together and started filling it up with fresh coolant and guess what it leaked it was leaking and it just made a mess all over the driveway um and let's just put it this way i learned a few new cuss words i've never known in my entire life but so i scratched my head and went back through tore it all down again um and in, in order to get that crossover pipe out you actually have to jack the engine up and remove the driver's side engine mount a little frustrating because it took me forever to figure it out there's a little flange on it you just can't pull the tube out of there it just hits the engine mount so did all that got it all back together finally no leaks it took me a little while uh but we got it and i'm super stoked because it's running actually cooler than it was before believe it or not uh Next up is the CV axles. Those definitely had to get thrown out and replaced uh, just for truck wars because I don't want to destroy those going down the track out there. So with that said, guys, I just cannot bring myself to sell that thing. I'm far, far too attached to it. My girlfriend hates it, but at the end of the day, uh, it's mine. I've done majority of the work to it. I've made it mine, I've, you know, 
you, you made it unique for myself. I mean, everybody, you know, I drive around and get compliments on it all the time. Um, I mean, it is a great looking truck and no one, you know, you can't deny it one bit. I mean, until something else jumps out and grabs my attention, I'm probably not going to sell it. It's just one of those trucks. It's just, uh, it's got a hold on me, guys. I mean, there's nothing I can, I can't lie about it. I'm not going to sell it. Uh, I mean, I might get frustrated with it at times, but I'm just not gonna. I mean, that's how probably every diesel truck owner is. I get super frustrated and, you know, threaten to sell it about a dozen times in about an hour if they're working on it. But that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, I'm coming back. I told you I would. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe as always, and we'll see you on the next one.